Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, 4th grade edition. Today we will be working on this standard right here, that is maths.4.nf.2.3, which means today is lesson 15 and we're adding and subtracting fractions. Um, before we get started, I want you to know that this is a mixed number. A mixed number has a whole number combined with a fraction, and that this would be considered a fraction greater than one. We used to call these improper fractions. You can still call them that, but I just want you to know. I might even slip and call them improper, but um, I think the FSA will refer to them as fractions greater than one. So let me teach you. Let's get going here. Example one says, what is the sum of two and one fourth and three and two fourths? By the way, this might be kind of small for you to see. Um, if you want to learn, work right alongside me, <laughs> um, in the description box below, there's a link. Click that link, it will take you to my complete guide to passing the FSA. You'll see these problems for this standard along with all the other, I think, 28 standards that there are for that will be tested on the FSA. Um, and I've included the ones on the video, plus you get like over 200 more. So check it out, it's awesome. Let's move on. All right, what is the sum of two and one fourth and three and two fourths? A, part A says write your answer as a mixed number, and part B says write your answer as a fraction greater than one. Um, so when it says what is the sum, which operation are we doing? You're right, addition. That means we're adding them. Oops, put one half, it's one fourth. Um, parents and teachers, just a heads up that for fourth grade, you'll only be adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. Students don't move to unlike denominators until they get to fifth grade. Except for the standard coming up, um, it's a few episodes, few lessons down the road, which will be adding and subtracting denominators of 10 and 100. So just a little, I don't know, extra info for you. Okay, so let's get back to this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add my whole numbers, okay? 2 plus 3 equals 5. And now I'm going to add my fractions. 1 fourth plus 2 fourths equals 3 fourths. So this is my mixed number, 5 and 3 fourths. Now I'm going to write that as a fraction greater than one. And the way that we do that is we start from the denominator, we multiply, and then we add. So we're gonna do four times five, four times five, which is 20, and then 20 plus three, which would be 23 in our numerator. And what do we put in our denominator? Oh yeah, the same guy that's already down there, which is four. So 23, fourths would be your fraction greater than one for this answer. Woo! All right, Zeta and Kai completed, I'm sorry, Zeta completed three sixths hours of homework. Kai completed four six hours of homework. Use the fraction model to show the total time that the students spent on their homework. So this is a graphic response item display AKA a grid um, to show the total time. So what we're doing is we're actually adding these fractions. So here's what we could do. I'm gonna add them down here first because we're finding the total time. So Zeta goes for three to six hours. Kai spends four sixths of an hour. All right, three plus four, so we add across with our numerators if our denominators are the same, which they are. And if that's the case, they just slide right over. So here, this is seven sixths. So that means we need to shade in one sixth seven times. So this would be 
This is out of six, so this would be one sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth, five sixth, six sixth, and then over here, seven sixth. So this is a fraction, as you can see, greater than one because our numerator is greater than our denominator. But what would this look like as, an, as a, a mixed number? So let me show you how to do that. What you do is you divide these numbers, seven divided by six. Let me see, I don't know if you can see. All right, so six goes into seven one time. One times six is six. Then we subtract, we get one. Started from the bottom, now we're here. One goes on top. And then our six, which is our divisor, goes on the bottom. So one and one sixth. One and one sixth or seven sixths. Using the scenario from example two, how much more time, how much more time did Kai spend on his homework? How much more is a key word that we use for subtraction. How much more or how many more? Okay. So how much more did Kai spend? Kai spent four sixth, we're subtracting what Zeta spent. Okay, denominators are the same, so I subtract across. Four minus three is one. Bring my six across, so one sixth of an hour. A yay 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 yay.